SOLIDWORKS 2011 introduces a new tool called a grid system. This can be used to lay out a grid for large structures such as weldments, plants or buildings. The grid system is accessed through the reference geometry which takes us immediately into a sketch environment. Here we can actually start adding our structure or geometry to represent the structure by adding lines and dimensions etc and as we create these you'll see that balloons are automatically being added. So we're just going to use some of the other sketch tools available such as the sketch pattern. We're just going to add some more entities on and as I mentioned before you can see that the balloons have now been updated accordingly. A few more lines just to add on just to complete the structure. And now complete, we're just going to accept our sketch and this will take us into the grid system property manager. Now in here we can actually add uh, floors, uh, number of floors and you'll also notice that we've got uh, individual uh, spacing control on the height of these individual floors or levels. Once complete, SOLIDWORKS goes ahead and creates the grid system based on our input. Now linking all these individual levels is a number of sketches, planes, surfaces etc that can be accessed through our dialog box and we can actually show these or hide them as required and we can reference these whenever to actually create more geometry. The other thing that you'll notice is that we have a 3D sketch that's actually linked our individual levels together and we're just going to show this and we're now going to use this to actually start completing our weldment. So we're just going to go to our weldment toolbar, select a structural member and we can start clicking on our path segments to actually add these individual members. And we're just going to complete this level. But what's really good about this is that we can take it one step further and actually start adding our weldment structural members to the other levels as well and we can connect them. So we're just going to give a couple of examples of this. So we're just going to connect some of these up. And we'll just accept that. And you can see what a great enhancement that is for SOLIDWORKS 2011 and Weldments.